Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are looking at the Galaxy S22 Ultra that came in the mail yesterday and the Galaxy Watch 4. Both of these came as a trade-in package deal to trade in our Note 20 Ultra. But today we're talking about the S22 Ultra. This is a case I showed you guys last week, I believe it was, on my uh, short video. This is how the camera bumps fit in there very nicely. And this is how the DJI OM4 bracket fits. Now I really like this case. I like this case on my Note 20 Ultra, which I said the other day. And I like it because this clamp that comes with the DJI OM4 stabilizer fits this case perfectly and it ba this balances out a little different than my Note 20 Ultra did but all in all it balances out really nice but today we're looking at this gimbal stabilizer now this is what happens every time you buy something that's too new and it's not on the list it's not on the list for DJI um, to be approved because the phone is too new but as you can see that this stabilizer works really well, um, it balances out, and I'll show you that in a minute. It's so nice that this clamp and case seem like they're made for each other. They don't touch the side of the screen, it protects this, the screen, and it also just cradles this case. This is a slim fitting case, and it cradles the case very well. So of course, the Note, the S22, Ultra is not on DJI's list of approved phones because it's too new, it happens all the time. So we are going to connect it after we turn it on here. I want to get ahead of myself. So it balances real nice with the case, even with the extra um, 500 milliamps on the 5,000 milliamp battery. So we are looking at this and we are switch around to the front camera here. Okay, so last night I got this, I hooked it all up and I'm like, wow, I got 4K. 4K, for you, those that have an OM4 through the DJI MIMO app, the last time we lost 4K with one of the updates, well, with the new phone, with the Note 20 Ultra, it didn't have 4K. So then later with an update, 4K was available. So today, last night, I was looking and I had 4K available. Now I've only got 1080p resolution. So you've only got a choice of 1080p or 720p. Now, I ran into this this morning and I thought, what's going on? Last night I had 4K and today I don't have 4K. So I uninstalled the app, reinstalled the app just five minutes ago and I had 4K. Now that I shut the app and reloaded the app, it's back to 1080p. So I don't know what's going on, of course, the phone's too new and also it's the new 4.1 UI so every time you get something new guys you lose something and you go backwards a little bit but this just to show you that this app works very good the phone is balanced very good it sits really level I've done some tests with uh, tracking mode and tracking mode works really good the processor speed, you know, you guys have seen all probably all the tests like I have, but the processor speed really comes into play is when you want to use it for something. So as you can see how fast that picked up face tracking, and now I've got face tracking, and I'm telling you, it is fast. I can walk across the room, come back, and it doesn't lose you. It really does a good job on face tracking. And that's with this, with the uh, forward facing camera and also the rearward case facing camera. Face tracking works very well. 
I don't know, they'll have to get the bugs worked out on that app so that you can get the 4K. You can always shoot in the native app that comes with the phone and just use the gimbal for image stabilization, which works well too. So I've been working all night on this thing, all day, trying to learn the ins and outs of everything. The focusing is a lot better than the S22 Ultra. The camera locks on and focuses, switching in between things very well. The audio, now I was also heard where they said the audio didn't, it wasn't as loud as the Note 20, but there's something different with it. The stereo sounds better. I don't know if it's just an internal setting that they have on there that they tweaked, but the stereo sounds better on this one than it does on the Note 20 Ultra. So I picked up this, picked up the Watch 4 and it was a package deal. And I'm just, I spent all morning hooking that up and trying to see how the battery life is on that. And it, it has been working out very nice. I really like the, the band is really comfortable. And it, compared to the stainless steel model, the watch is very light. You really don't even know that it's there. You can't even uh, feel it hardly at all that it's on your wrist. I will have some other, other videos coming up, coming out. But I, this is, I've been just so busy playing with this thing checking it out. So, so we're on 1080 and you see the 1080 is available and 720p and that's it. Uh, I'm telling you five minutes ago 4k was available. So why the 4k disappeared and then I'll have to do an uninstall reinstall and I'll bet you that it works. In fact maybe we can do that right now. Okay, look at there. Okay, guys, you've seen it first here. There is your 4K video frame rate right there. Now, we have 4K, the app installed, and now somewhere along the lines there will be no 4K. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the functions that work. So you can hit record and it records like it's supposed to. Now I'm not in a good position to uh, show you, but uh, zooming wise, you hit the button here and the zoom happens. Now you can continue to zoom smoothly all the way up to uh, 8.0, I believe. Yeah, 8.0. Now, of course, I'm not focused on anything but I just wanted to show you that the controls are working. So the app works with the S22 Ultra. But there is a glitch with 4K. Next time you open up the app, 4K will probably be gone. For, for whatever the reason, 4K will be gone. That's my guess. It's happened to me three times now already. So you've got all the controls that work. The recording control works. And um, like I said, this phone case works very good. I've had no issues with it supporting the phone. It supports the phone perfectly. It fits the case perfectly. That's, I, I really like this case because a phone like this, I don't wanna be taking it in and out of the case just to use this gimbal. And if that happens, you're probably not going to use the gimbal. You're probably going to leave the gimbal at home. So you can see the mount, the clamp on mount, how it fits on the case. Fits on the case perfect. I'm really liking that. It just, it's absolutely a nice combination. And if you've had any of the other old gimbals, you know what I'm talking about. How they don't fit good. The curve on this bracket, look at the curve on that bracket compared to the curve on the phone. Same as the Note 20. The S22 has basically the same curve. 
and this case is basically the same case that I was using the same same brand how be it except it has the uh, you know the cutout for this new style camera but this case is great cases made by Taurus I don't get any kickbacks for selling anything I'm not trying to sell you anything I'm just trying to tell you what worked out for me in case you might be looking to use an OM4 with your note with your S22 Ultra it's going to take me a while not to call this a note because I almost feel like it's the same phone that I had except for the camera setup. And there you have it guys. 4K. 4K on the OM4 with the S22 Ultra. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Please hit like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.